you could divide that up into three. Depreciation would take a third of it. Interest cost would take a third of it. And the last third is profit. And there's nothing wrong with profit. You could argue that if the whole of that 250,000 hectares was irrigated, the gross farm income from that could be two and a half billion. So turning back the clock, or, or putting, um, I mean, we've already heard of the impact uh, in Taupo on the farmers, on their, their businesses, what it is to either stop development or uh, put us, put, um, or we're still turning back the clock on that. So this depends on this. And I, and I guess what we've heard today is the entire discussion has been, from my interpretation, the expectation from these guys that cl clean water is the sole responsibility of these guys. And I, I find that uh, that discussion lacks a degree of integrity if, we're, if, if our purpose uh, and aspiration is to make a difference in terms of our water quality, then there's a few things that we need to take into account. These guys, as a direct cost, will, it'll cost them thousands, maybe hundreds of thousands. But these guys, if they have to pay their share of uh, their contribution to water pollution, will be millions of dollars. And what upsets me about the whole discussion today is, uh, is we've been discussing farmers and nitrates as a way of solving New Zealand's water problems. Or as a um, uh, but if you don't include uh, all contributors to water pollution in New Zealand, then we're never going to get to the point where we want to be. Uh, everyone, in, everyone in New Zealand has to play their part, and the biggest cost is the potential loss of growth of the, uh, growth of the economy. And I, and I guess that's... Um, and, and so in terms of markets for as a tool for water quality, uh, it, it has its place. But it's a question of the integrity of the process. If the integrity of the process is that it's only farmers and nitrates, and it has very little, it's not going to get to us where we want to be. At the end of the day, the, any tools we use have got to include all polluters, have actually got to include all pollution, and I refer back to Jan Wright's um, report on, on the, on the uh, water, uh, fresh water status of New Zealand, where she talks about the three levels of pollution, which is nutrients, by which she means nitrates, sediment, by which she probably means phosphate, and turbidity, and contaminants, which is all the really nasty stuff. And the things that affect the people of New Zealand most are actually the last two, not the first. It may be that, that uh, Taupo and Rotorua are specifically sensitive to nitrates, and I, I certainly won't dispute that or get into any debate about that. But across New Zealand, the things that upset people the most is when they go for a swim and they get crook, or their dogs die, or they find dead cattle standing, you know, lying in the creeks. Um, and, and if we're only targeting farmers and nitrate and diffuse loss of nitrates, then we're missing the target here. So um, where to for the future? We've just got to devise a system that actually uh, is deadly serious uh, about sorting out water quality. Um, agriculture is moving very fast to play its part in that, and we have, a we have aspirations that the urban people will be playing their part as well. Th there is always a danger when it comes to the economics, and we've been told today that um, um, I think Susie made some comment about, hang on, I've written it down here. Urban losses are considered unmanageable exports. And Kip Rutherford said that it was too, too, too expensive to mitigate a lot of those costs. Uh, well, it might not be new, Susie. Somebody said that this morning. I, 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 the, 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 in my view, that is a, un unacceptable. There should be no exceptions to contributions to helping clean up the waterways. Um, agriculture is now committed, I, I'd like to think, um, not quite 100%, but we're getting there, uh, to play its part. We want to see the same expectations, we, we have the same expectations of everybody else. Hang on. Just wrong button. Yeah. Thank you, Ian. Thank you very much. We've had a quick and thankful.